Day 3 at Euronaval 2016, today we take a further look at some of the latest naval defense technologies unveiled for the first time. I'm the manager of the BPC, uh, the Mistral, the landing helicopter dock. And I want to uh, introduce uh, our new system against asymmetrical threats. There are three main elements. The optical device uh, from uh, Safran, uh, the console, the operative console uh, that make uh, all, elaborate all the uh, situ tactical situation and uh, the turret uh, now 120B uh, from Nexter. And the console is from DCNS. Uh, it gives him uh, a better see of the situation because he can see uh, night and day, uh, a threat that will come at the last moment and that it is difficult to, to treat and uh, in a, a coastal approach for the, for the ship in situation where perhaps there can be a terrorist attack, but just civilian fishermen that are in the zone. So the landing helicopter dock and his crew need to be sure that if they engage the Narval 20B, there will be no mistake between civilian person or real terrorist threat. This is the heart of uh, the system uh, of self-defense of the Mistral class ships. It's a console DCNS that uh, elaborates the new tactical situation for the self-defense. So we've taken our existing 58 meter Cape patrol boat and recognize a large part of the market want proven technology but a more adaptive approach. We've redesigned the whole stern, providing a UAV capability, providing a choice of different size ribs, and using our existing deck space to provide a multi-mission bays. We see from many customers they want to have multi-mission capabilities. There's an operations room, but at the same time, it's the same trusted 58 meter patrol boat that you can come and visit and have a sea ride on and we've taken that approach also into mine warfare. The same challenge, analyzing the underwater water space. A $100 million mine warfare specialist platform is an expensive long-term proposition. This is a much cheaper multi-mission way of doing the same job. And you're able to have a patrol boat that can do your counter uh, fisheries patrols, your security patrols, and all those other constabulary duties. So it's flexible, it's proven and it takes that multi-mission into production. I am former of uh, French Navy uh, Special Force during uh, 26 years old. This product is a uh, laser, is, uh, his name is Laser for Deterrence and Interception, LDI. We have, we have been uh, the first to develop this uh, device, which be eye safe, with a high uh, power, six watts of power, uh, we can able to uh, blind people uh, or vehicle at the checkpoint, for example, in, uh, uh, for our operation in land, landing operation, and also uh, to be able to uh, blind uh, uh, potential threats in, uh, in, in approach. Uh, a small, uh, small uh, UAV, small uh, ribs running fast etc we can blind we can blind by daytime at 500 meters and uh, on night time is very easy to blind people at more than 
one kilometers and a half. For the very first time, CEA Technologies of Australia is showcasing its C42 radar. It is a next generation radar fitted with six faces with X band, S band, and L band, as well as multi mode IFF antennas with 16 antennas in total. It will be the future radar as part of the upgrade of the ANZAC class. And it, sh it should also be fitted on board the future C5000 frigate program. This is the first time we're showing a Saab naval combat system in a whole with the same scale models. But in particular we want to show the mast. The main benefit with the combat system is uh, we take full responsibility from the, the detection to the actual target engagement. So we have the performance, the reaction time, everything in our systems. Here we're showing the mast. Because shipyards, it's very tricky to handle the mast of a ship. And here we saw offering that we can take responsibility for the whole mast. And in this particular case, we have two new radars. The SK-1X, just coming out on the market. It's a 100 kilo radar. 100 kilometer range, full 3D still. So we can put it very high up in the mast. That means you get better surface coverage. And beneath you have the SC Shiroff 4A, but it's a 350 kilometer range. So you can have that one a little bit lower, this one much higher depending on the ship stability. And in this example, it's a, it's a Kokums composite, the same color as Vispy, so it's a Vispy type of concept, chip. The idea is to have a multi-mission frigate uh, we, we are talking about a displacement of around 6,000 tons and, uh, and uh, for uh, medium intensity scenarios. It is uh, already prepared for uh, anti-air warfare, anti-submarine warfare and uh, anti-surface uh, warfare. It's a, a very complete uh, combat system. Well, one of the main uh, new things in, in this frigate is the, the radar. Uh, here we, we are working in, um, in some technological uh, uh, programs that, that are going in parallel with the development of the F-110. Uh, some uh, Spanish companies are working on them uh, together with uh, Lockheed Martin and then we are developing a, a new radar, solid state uh, radar, uh, that will uh, integrate, uh, the, the mast will integrate the radar, the, the communications, electronic warfare, and, uh, and so on.